How's it going, guys? So I've been messing around on Streamlabs for the last, like, three hours trying to figure out how I can play Counter-Strike, uh, one, one of the main games that I play on my stream, in 4.3 resolution without having to worry about having my desktop in that 4.3 res and, and just messing everything up. Because if I have my desktop in my normal 16x9, you know, 1920x1080p resolution, um, and I'm trying to stream it in Counter-Strike, or trying to stream it in Streamlabs, it makes me launch it in untrusted mode so I can use the game capture with the game and have it be captured, but then it messes with my trust factor if I'm doing that. And some people were talking about having a display capture overlay, and that's all great, but all of their options end in you having to leave your desktop in a 4.3 resolution while, while you're playing Counter-Strike. And no one wants to actually have to do that. So I've been messing around a little bit, and I found out that Streamlabs actually doesn't care what resolution your desktop is as long as the desktop was in that resolution when the source was stretched to the screen. So I'll show you what I mean here. In that I have this resolution called CSGO. Or the, not this resolution, this source called CSGO. So you can see here in my top left, display one will show you whatever my right monitor is looking at, but it'll show you in whatever stretched form that, that it decides to show you. And so you can see it takes up about that much space on the screen, and that's a 16 by 9 image. So I'll go here with my Counter-Strike, my Counter-Strike overlay. So this is my right monitor in its normal size. So we're going to go here to my display settings. I'm going to come down here to the resolution section. I'm going to change this to the in-game resolution that I like to use in Counter-Strike, 1280 by 1024. We're going to change it. Keep changes. So now you can see that it's blacking out a lot of the outer area. You know, I'm touching the right side of my monitor, and I'm you're like two-thirds of the way across the screen that you guys are seeing. So I'm going to show you what I'm looking at here. In that, when you're looking at that image, you'll come over, click the source, and you can see that it's only taking up that much of the screen. I'll click it, transform stretch to screen. So now that's going to be stretched to a full size image and I can black these other two out so you can see that it's stretching this to the full size of the screen. But it's also making my desktop all weird because I'm actually in a 4.3 resolution on my desktop. So now that that's been stretched, now that this source is stretched to the way that I want it, I'm going to go back Oop, not that one I'm going to change it to my 1920 by 1080p resolution, go right back to my recommended, my, my native resolution, and you can see that now it's all, it's broken my, my desktop, except it hasn't, and my desktop is just the same as it was before. I can still see my whole desktop on the right side of my monitor, but when it's time to actually look at my game overlay, it's overstretched. So now I have a little square that I can tab into whenever I want to play Counter-Strike, and all I had to do was make an extra source called CSGO. And you can see here that when I, when I click it to focus it, it's overstretching it way past the bounds of what you're actually able to see on the recording. So I can tab into Counter-Strike real quick and show you what I mean here. So I'll black out the other two sources, and I'll tab into CS. And you can even hear the game audio playing in the background. And you can see that my 5.4 resolution, 1280 by 1024 is a 5.4 resolution, but this will work with 4.3 as well. It's actually showing, and you can see full screen, um, this is working just fine. And I can play this game, and I don't have the pass or else I'd load up a Premiere, but I'm loading into this game in trusted mode. I'm not getting the pop-up telling me to load in untrusted or that there's, you know, n not letting me see the game, not giving me a black screen for it, nothing like that. And I'm able to play the game just like normal. Um, so th that seems to be a workaround. That's that's really the only one that I've found that doesn't result in you having to leave your desktop in a, in a stupid setup. Um, and, and all you end up having to do is just have an extra source called CSGO that if you ever don't want, you just, you just blind it. And you just leave it all the way at the bottom. Or leave it in your visual folder above everything else but blind it. And whenever you want to play Counter-Strike, just unblind it and then boom, you have that source available to you. Um, so that's how I'm going to do it. Uh, seems to be working just fine. I'm not running into any issues. You do need to make sure that you have a game capture so that you can have audio. Um, your game capture will always capture audio, but CS won't allow it to capture visual. So, um, so that's going to be the only bar that you have to have. But you know that game capture is going to be black anyway. So just overlay it with your display capture, your newly stretched display capture, and you'll be just fine. Thanks for watching, guys.